So the September 13th, 2022 Nintendo Direct gave us a lot of new game reveals and information on games that we've that have been announced before. But uh, one thing that was a uh, pretty nice surprise for me personally was the Tales of Symphonia quote-unquote remaster announcement. The reason I say quote-unquote is because the game has already been remastered. It was originally uh, released on the GameCube in like 2003 in Japan, 2004 in North America, and then it was released on the PS2 in Japan only, and then that PS2 version was used as the basis for a 2013 um, PS3 re-release, and so that is when it actually got remastered for HD, was when it got released on the PS3 like a decade ago. So I find it kind of funny that they're calling this version remaster. That PS3 version was called Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. And uh, Chronicles also included the spin-off sequel, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. But um, this new version is just going to be Symphonia, which is fine with me, because I personally don't like the uh, spin-off sequel. It's not very good, in my opinion. On the other hand, Tales of Symphonia is my favorite Tales game and easily probably my favorite video game overall. I've played it a lot. I'm looking forward to being able to play it on the go on my Nintendo Switch. It's got local co-op multiplayer. It's a fun action RPG. Highly recommend it. Anybody who hasn't played it before, or if the last time you played it was back in 2004 on the GameCube, it's a good time to pick it back up. The only thing I guess I have some, I have a few misgivings. One is that despite this being called remaster, and despite the fact that they've re-released this game multiple times, the game doesn't really have a perfect version. It's sort of like Persona 3 in that regard, if you're familiar with Persona, um, in that Tales of Symphonia ran at 60 frames per second on the GameCube, and the character models looked better on the GameCube, frankly, than the HD versions. The HD versions removed the hard outlines on the characters, which just, I don't know, something about it doesn't look right. And the colors look kind of washed out as well compared to the GameCube version. I'll, I'll splice in some GameCube footage into this video so you can see the comparison. But yeah, the GameCube version ran at a higher frame rate and it looked better, frankly. It just looked it straight up looked better. In fact, on the PC version, uh, you know, fans had to make mods to make the game look better like it did on the GameCube. There's like a 4K texture mod. There's like a mod that adds the hard outlines back in, so on and so forth. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's my favorite game, and this is still going to be a good way to play it, unless they somehow completely bungle this Switch version for some reason. It's also going to be out on Xbox and PS4, so whatever system you want to get it on, it'll be there, which is great. I think a lot of people should play this game. And it's probably, my guess is it will be out by March of 2023 at the latest. But yeah, it, it just kind of sucks that there's no version of Symphonia that has, because the, the, the HD versions have more content than the GameCube version did. There was some content that was added in the Japan-only PlayStation 2 version of Symphonia that, you know, because the PS3 and Steam versions are based on the PS2 version, they have that extra content. And they even added some extra costumes when it came out on PS3 and Steam. But the GameCube version doesn't have any of that extra content. But the GameCube version looks the best. So you see what I'm saying? Like, there's no version that has everything you want all in one. But... Even if we put all that aside, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get the game. You should get the game, too. Someday I would love to do, like, uh, a Symphonia stream from front to back. Maybe when the remaster comes out, I'll do that. Uh, but, yeah, it's a great game. The other thing that, that bothers me, I guess, is... Um, and I'll, I'll post a picture of it in here as well. Is the Collector's Edition, which they're calling the Chosen Edition. I don't think it looks very impressive. It looks really lazy, which honestly this port in general feels kind of lazy because it's a it's a game they've already remastered. It's a game they've already ported twice or three times really, if you count the PS2 port from back in the day. And while this is great that's going to be on every system now, it's like this this collector's edition doesn't look right. The PS3 Tales of Symphonia Chronicles uh, collector's edition, which I did get at the time, was impressive. It looked at a nice big box. It came with like little figures and all kinds of stuff. This one has some art prints, which, unless these are placeholder, which I doubt they're placeholders, these art prints are literally just screenshots from the opening song cutscene that plays when you turn on the game. Like, that's incredibly lazy. You just took screenshots 
of the opening sequence when you turn on the game. Are you serious? You couldn't do like, couldn't ask you know Kosuke Fujishima, the character designer, to make some art or something. Same thing with the metal case. It's just Corinne, which is like a sort of little fox spirit that's uh, with you in the game. It just blew up an image of Corinne and put that on the metal case. That like that can't be real. This looks like a joke. This looks like a Photoshop or like a placeholder. But I mean, this is what they put on their store. They're accepting pre-orders now. That's what it says. But it it doesn't look like they cared. It looks like, ah, oh, whatever. We'll just crap something out, throw it together. The, the little stickers are fine. I don't mind those. But honestly, for a collector's edition, this is really lackluster. There should have been, like, an art book. There should have been custom art for the metal case. The art prints should have been custom art or at least something that's more interesting than just taking screenshots out of the opening cutscene. The uh, only thing I like is that the base game, the, the cover on the, the actual game box is nice. It is the uh, old um, the old Japanese box art for the game, which is cool. I like that. We're, we're, we're finally going to get that. Japan has usually had the better box arts for Tales games. I mean, even with Tales of Arise, the most recent Tales game that came out in 2021, the Japanese box art for Tales of Arise is gorgeous, whereas the American, North American box art it looks terrible, in my opinion. It's weird because for a little while there, we were pretty much getting the same box art. Like, they started giving us the same box arts around the PS3 generation. And then at some point, they started changing them again. But I guess it's just something that their marketing department tells them they should do or something. I don't know. Either way, we're getting the proper box art for this game, so that's cool. Yeah, all in all, I'm happy that this game is coming to switch and the other platforms i think a lot of people should should try this game out it is an old game so don't go in expecting it to play like a modern game it is it has its own thing going on with its combat and stuff so you've got to meet the game on its own terms but it is a really good game fun combat it's got local multiplayer for battles it's got a good story pretty good music a charming art style I wish it had the high frame rate in the visual style of the GameCube version, but they just aren't willing to put in that effort, or maybe they've lost the source code for the GameCube version. So I have no idea why they haven't fixed this by now. This is the third time they are putting out a modern version of Symphonia, and they still haven't fixed that problem. But whatever. So uh, hopefully this video was entertaining and informative for you. Make sure you subscribe for more content about games and other media. Uh, this has been Karma Houdini Gaming. Thank you for watching.